Colonel Light's plan for the city, surrounded by parklands, has become a symbol of Adelaide. Light's plan extended beyond the parklands, with a strong grid of roads extending to the hills, the coast and to the north. It was a visionary plan, with transport corridors connecting centres and green corridors along the Torrens River. Adelaide grew to fill Light's grid around a network of tram and train lines. In the 1950s and 60s, car ownership pushed growth beyond Light's grid to the north, south and over the hills. As we look to the next 30 years, we face new challenges. A changing and ageing population will need new types of housing. A growing and diversifying economy will require more employment land for new technology jobs. A changing climate means we need to use water and energy more efficiently. We will need to design better buildings and maximise the value of our transport systems. We need to reduce our environmental footprint and we need to protect biodiversity and productive high-value agricultural land. The plan for Adelaide returns to the principles of Colonel Light's plan to deliver a new urban form. Beyond Light's Adelaide, new development will be close to public transport and shops. More people will live and work in and around centres with good access to improved public transport. The new urban form will create vibrant towns and villages. With greenways for cycling and walking and new public facilities, more people will support more shops, cafes and create jobs. Within a short walk of the new electrified train and tram systems, a new built form will return to the principles of Colonel Light, a livable Adelaide that will make a more competitive and sustainable city to ensure over the next 30 years we create the Adelaide we all want.